Charles, up. you want to eliminate whiteness. Is that true? Uh, I want to destroy whiteness, to be more specific, yeah. Why do you see white people as supreme we over don't. you? Yes, we you don't. do. No, the very... The you very, just said it here. No, I didn't. Now, white people, and some white people, not all, some white people do feel that they are superior to black people. That white way. people do not feel that way. The you can't speak for all white are, people. You ain't even white, Jesse. The blacks who are you insecure... Ain't even white. Hi, y'all. Roland here. Welcome to Culture War. In this video, Jesse will be battling it out with a young associate professor who claims he wants to destroy whiteness. But at the end of the video, he was snookered by two callers. You need to watch this to the very end. If you've not subscribed to this channel, please do well to subscribe to this channel by smashing that subscribe button and also hit the notification bell so when I drop newer videos, you can be notified. Let's jump right straight into the video. You want to eliminate whiteness. Is that true? Uh, I want to destroy whiteness, to be more specific, yes. And what is whiteness, and why do you want to destroy it? Uh, so whiteness is an, is an ideological Speaking construct, to uh, right? It's an ideology, it's a set of behaviors and beliefs and practices that not only normalize the white way of seeing the world, but the white way of doing society. And so that structure has proven to be violent towards people of color. Uh, because it's the norm, it's the norm and standard by which we are judged, which is an inaccurate one. And so I think that that needs to be destroyed in order for the liberation of people of color uh, from white supremacy to take place. Now, to be sure, that is not to conflate whiteness with white people, although all white people do benefit from whiteness. And there are people of, of color and, and black folks as well who adopt ideological positions that are consistent with white supremacy. And again, that is a, uh, a, a disappointment uh, and, it, and it disenfranchises and harms people of color. So I think that ideology <laughs> and that philosophy Philosophy needs to be destroyed. Oh man! Um, so you believe in uh, destroying whiteness? You will destroy white supremacy. I'm reading here. Is that right? Yes, white supremacy is the structure. Why do black people see white? Well, most blacks, not all. The good ones don't. But why do most black people, like yourself, see white people as supreme over them? Uh, I think that again is is a, is a mischaracterization. It's not about individual white people, but a larger system and structure that uh, provides certain sets of unearned uh, privileges and ascribed status to white people and white bodies and those that adopt white ideologies. I'm not understanding though. What, and and say, make it a little simpler for me and the people who are listening and watching. Well, let me let me let me, let me break do it down. Black let me break it. Let me break it down like, like you this. You see white people as supreme over you because you we guys, don't. We don't. You guys have spent sixty years complaining and watching and complaining about white people where in the good old days when men were men and boys were boys, blacks were not doing that. They went out. When, and when was this time, Jesse? Please let me, please cite me in the, in the listeners. Question. When before, was that time? Before the civil rights movement. Really? They, blacks went out. They built their own universities. They, they bought land. They, uh, Some created, did. they created businesses. Some did, but most well, could all, not. All people are not going to do anything. No, but I'm talking. So, I'm talking about uh, the, but let the me just system the point. that didn't enable them to do that. Let All blacks could not point. could not get houses. It's not the true that the system didn't enable them to do it, because even when under Jim Crow laws, and I grew up under the Jim Crow laws in Alabama. Yeah, as did my father. And black people did better off were better off then than they are today in that they were more independent. Black men were not acting like little girls and complaining about the white man. They went out and, show, and proved that they were men themselves. They but that's not it. a uniform. Just as the Jews have done it, black people First did First off, the same Jesse, thing. Jews have been able and to now, assimilate into whiteness and benefit from whiteness also. Now, so let's be clear about that. And now you have adult black men looking at white men and just complaining like little girls. What happened? I mean, why do you see white people as supreme? Let me chime in because I agree with Jesse. In Africa here, there's a saying that goes like this. After God is the white man. Africans actually believe, I actually heard that when I was a kid. I actually heard that from some older people, you know, men. They said after God, they were, in all, they, they were all in awe of the white man. You know, that was why it was, it was so easy for the white man to come into a, and, you know, and and kidnapped or, or enslaved the, uh, the black man and took him across the Atlantic and sold him for, for almost nothing. The black man in, intrinsically feel inferior to the white man. That's why it was so easy. 
you know it's so it was so easy so we we don't back here in africa you see when the white colonizers were here colonizing all the african countries the countries were actually doing well our currencies were really doing well but as soon as the white man left and the the, the countries we our countries gained independence after a while the blackness the destructive blackness kicked in and all the african countries are all doing not so well now the economies are dead you know and they rely on funds from the imf to survive the countries are not doing anything they're not they're not they're not produ hardly producing anything they're just a consuming nature a uh, uh, nation they're just consuming countries you know so the, we all all rely on ex imports from foreign foreign countries for anything to work in our country we all rely on the dollar we all rely on the on the pounds uh, we all rely on the euros so we don't dictate anything from africa here so when you see the black who the black americans who originate from africans you can understand why they behave that way it's very it's, you can it's very relative to our the african roots so blacks kind of have this inferiority complex and that's what the blacks are going through there they can't do anything so because if they could do something and they were doing something positive they won't have time to be complaining whining and looking for affirmative action here and there and this and that you know and always complaining about racism and white supremacy and this and that because they need to get off their lazy ass and start looking for free money and start looking for a pity party and start doing things for themselves we don't oh, yeah. yes we you don't. do no the very the you very, just said it here no i didn't white again white supremacy is a structural issue now white people and some white people not all some white people do feel that they are superior to black people no you feel that they are no i don't they don't feel that way no i don't we've made it very clear that uh, we don't feel that white way. white people do not feel that way the you can't speak for all white are, people you ain't even white jesse the blacks who are you insecure ain't even white. the blacks who are insecure feel that white people that's not Think true. That we're supreme. not talking about white people. We are talking about structural racism, Jesse. You're projecting. We're not projecting. Yes, you are. No, we're talking about systemic racism. You have a, a, a beautiful placard here that talks about uh, drinking fountains. Right. 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 And so when white folks are legislating where black people can get access to water, that is a structural form of racism. But even when they had the for colors only drinking fountain for white only, blacks were still doing better today then than they are today because the men were not sitting around whining like little girls talk about white people holding them back yeah again you're now you're going into a different direction you're conflating a lot of things let's disentangle some of this okay when you're talking about black men in particular you're you're now saying and suggesting which again based on the evidence that you have is that black men are always the head of the household and we know that not to be true we know that we have matrilineal and matri uh, matriarchal which means they're headed they and were run by head women. of the household Just before they turned their no, lives they over all, to the democrats all black men were not head of households Jesse. not all most were most were not either. when i was growing up most black men were head of their and that's household. what we call anecdotal evidence and now, Jesse, you are in the case of one you and cannot now be representative of not, all black folks now they're not because they've allowed the black women to take over no they haven't the reason that the there are not there, the reason there are less black men in households is because of mass incarceration that's not true it is true no. jesse the evidence is absolutely clear the data not is true. there no just because you say it ain't true don't make it, it so absolutely not true it that's true. not the, the evidence why they, is clear. they are not the head of their household because their mothers have taken away their masculinity and turned them into girls that's actually not true either jesse it's a girly thing to do for a black man to sit around and point his finger at the white man are you advocating black on white violence what are we talking about, Jesse? When you say you want to do this, destroy whiteness by any and all means. Whiteness by any means. Are you saying? Are you advocating violence? Well, how are you defining violence, Jesse? You're putting words in my mouth. What are you? What do you mean when you say that? When I say by any and all means, that yes. means that we must not uh, back down from threats. Threats that I've received uh, via email and social media this week. We must not back down from uh, political opposition from destroying the philosophy and ideology of whiteness, which means you must remain committed, particularly as educators, to making sure that white folks understand their structural and social position, they understand white supremacy, and they understand that there is an obligation no for white them. Supremacy. We're not going to debate this, Jesse. That they, need to under, that they need to understand that they have a role to play in dismantling that ideology that puts them uh, in their own minds and in the white imagination ahead of people of color. Amazing. So let me ask, um, Antifa, you heard of them, right? Uh, I the, have heard of them. Those cowards who dress in black, they hide their faces, and they go out and attack the alt-right. They huh. go out and attack good people. Oh, like and, the Klan. And the last one. Like that, the Klan. The, the one that comes to mind is in uh, Charlottesville, Virginia. They had a permit. The alt-right had a permit to hold a rally there. The Antifa, this group, I mean, just hateful, evil cowards showed up. 
and attack the alt-right. Oh, is that the narrative? Was, was that right for them to do that? Is that the narrative? Was it right for them to do that? For Antifa to show up and do that? I think the better question is, was it right for white supremacists and white nationalists to convene and to engage in violent acts against the citizens of I'm, Charlottesville? That's no, the better I'm telling question, you Jesse. what happened. I'm asking you Jesse, a question. You I'm asking you, you a there? question. Was that right for them to do that? It was right for them to defend themselves and defend others. So yes. it was right for violent... No, I said what I said, Jesse. I said what I said. Is it right for violent... It is right to defend oneself against cowardly violence. Cowardly group, dressed cowardly in black, is a mischaracterization. hiding their faces. If they're brave Jesse, men... Jesse, if you're so worried women, about people hiding their faces and talk about the white nationalists in the Klan that's been hiding under what? sheets for hundreds of years. That's cowardly, too, for the for the Klan well, to do that Well, then just say it. Well. Say it. So... And that is cowardly. If you are fighting for a just cause, you don't need to hide so your you're, face. So you're suggesting the alt-right is fighting for a just cause? I don't know what. I'm, I'm talking to them now and learning more about them. But what I'm saying is I notice that people like you don't ever mention these cowardly people dressed in black interfering with the right of freedom of speech. Freedom of speech when and hate people speech are the same thing, Jesse. people who don't go out... The, they are the ones who are hateful. Jesse, people were killed and injured in Charlottesville as a result of the presence of white supremacy. That's not true. That is true. No. It, it's documented. They were killed because the No, they you were can rationalize however you want because to. White the supremacists evil, drove a car through a crowd of peaceful evil protesters Antifa, engaged in civil nonviolence. Not true. Civil disobedience and nonviolence. Had Antifa not shown up. That's not true. If Antifa not shown up, there might have been more not violence. Have happened. Not true. Absolutely not true. That's speculation no, on your you're part, Jesse. It, no, no, no. It would not have happened. It's speculation. Let's go to T out of Tennessee. T, thanks for calling and thanks for holding your on with Charles. H.F. Davis. You know, you know, I, I, you know, Jesse, my blood is boiling right now. You know what? This, this guy may be a professor, but he sounds like a fool, okay? And I don't call people a fool, but you know what, sir? You need to go back and learn your history, okay? Now, I'm asking this question. What oppression? When you have black billionaires like Oprah Winfrey, Magic Johnson, Tyler Perry, where are black people oppressed at? You name in three okay? particular that black people that sense. have money does not mean that all black people have money. The generational okay, I, wealth of African you know Americans is the lowest excuse of all racial me. groups in make this country. That I'm sure but you were. Look how far we have come, sir. Look how far we've come. Just because we've come far okay, does not mean we are far enough. To where we are now. Just because we've come far look does not mean we have come far come. enough. And we've come, Stop we've come this far in spite of white supremacy. Racism. See, we've come this Stop far in spite of white supremacy, not because of it. Racism. One at a time. Do you realize that blacks are, no one like black people? The Mexicans don't like them. The Hispanics don't like them. The whites don't like them. Good black people don't like them. Exactly. Uh, the exactly. Asians don't like them because you guys are so violent and complaining. Jesse, you black. Exactly. And exactly. Do you Jesse, realize, you're black. No, do you realize that most people don't like you guys? Oh, you I people, wonder why that is. Because you're exactly. so mean and complaining and nasty. No, exactly. it's because of it's Crying because of racism and white supremacy, Jesse. Yeah. It's because of the white gaze you know on what? the black body. <laughs> you need to stop blaming white people for, for black people's problems. If black people don't have, it's because they're not self sufficient enough. Well that's now, a that's a very that good white logical narrative you just gave and us. And all there. those Thank things. You. That's why they did it. That's why Oprah started her own business. That's why Tyler Perry started their own business. Then yeah, why don't you really have Tyler Perry money, T? To me. Why don't you have we Tyler Perry money, T? We had a black president. That's black oppression? Where? How, That's how one black person. Being oppressed in this country? We had a black president and the material Look, conditions you know of what? most black people did not change. So how don't do talk to me about that, one person. How do you feel with the one black president you people had that he turned Who's America you people, Jesse? Ain't to you, Again, are you not black? He turned, he turned he America awful. into a ghetto. How do you feel about that? Eight no, years. he didn't. Eight years. America had been already established in the my... poverty spaces. So it's not to bother you. And one Obama. president over eight years cannot undo what the 43 presidents before him did. Eight it, years. And he didn't change anything. Eight what's years. your point? What did so, he do? What you're the one who's holding him up as this bastion Nothing. and this icon Nothing. that's supposed to represent black people overcoming. What is so he don't doing tell me. Now for the black don't tell me you can't be both Answer for and against what is this he person. What are you doing now for the black people? Why don't you ask Has him? Has he gone to the, to, to the black neighborhood in Chicago where. where Black people are shooting black people. What has he done for them? Yes, nothing. as are many He's organizers who have been organizing them. on the south side of Chicago for decades against gun violence oh, for the guns what? that are shipped into okay, Chicago. Okay, okay, and, and that's and that's fine. But again, is it where when when has he or any of these other black politicians gone down to those places and tried to fix it? Now listen, not I'm not I'm not a pro Barack people. Obama person, but Barack white Obama was a community organizer in the south in black the south side of Chicago. 
They whiteness is our problem, white. though. Whiteness is our right problem. They have to be in this country. But whiteness and white supremacy are our problem, too. As a man, how can you say that? Look like, how I can would I say think what? that you would be embarrassed as a man to say no. that. You know because what? your definition of manhood does not define who it is that I am as a man, Jesse, so I'm not embarrassed. No, you know what? Black I stand in the like legacy of very bigot. many black men who called out white supremacy by name. <laughs> no, sorry. Not real you're, man. You're a bigot. You're so Martin Luther King ain't a real man? Okay, just you're from like, Alabama, just Jesse. Like Nancy Watson, <laughs> say what you got to say. You are a bigot. Okay, don't tell me that Oprah Winfrey and all these rich black people don't have the power to be racist. You They're named three black they people, T. You fire white people. You named just three like black people, T. You fire black people. And you ain't so one of those three black people. There's no such thing as black racism. There isn't. It's not true. There they isn't. have the power now. That's not how racism they works. They have the money. You don't tell me that they can't hire black people if they want to and not hire and white And they do. People, okay? Thank you. Thank you. I'm sorry, but you're wrong. Thank you, T. I appreciate it. Um, I've proven that in my book, The Antidote, Healing America from the Poison of Hate, Blame, and Victimhood. I've proven that there's no such thing as racism. Proven that how, Jesse? It's a lie that's been made With up. what evidence? And that most blacks are suffering due An to... An opinion does not make evidence, Most Jesse. blacks are suffering due to the destruction of the family and the lack of moral character. And the average black man is not worth a dime. And so if the men are no good, then the family will be destroyed as well. Well, again, that's your interpretation. The evidence would suggest otherwise. Yeah, listen. Bobby, go to God. Thanks for calling you on with Charles. Thank you, Jesse. Good morning, Charles. Good morning, guys. Good morning. You know, um, you said earlier in the show that you are employed by USC in order to um, accomplish equal, um, equal and equitable outcomes. Now, that is textbook communism, textbook socialism, and it is an impossibility. If two people study in the same school with the same teacher and one puts in better effort than the other, you're not going to get equitable outcomes. You're not going to get equal outcomes. You're never going to get that. And for socialists to try to do that is against human nature, and it's evil, because what you're doing is you're taking from one to give to the other because the other one is going to be better in some way, shape, or form. That's like taking the NBA and you've got a high score and you get, take his points and give it to the guy who's scoring very few or no points in a game and credit, crediting him with that and then paying them equal to perform. That's going to respond. Go ahead, Charles. Well, one, that's like a terrible analogy. That doesn't even make any actual sense. That uh, is a perfect analogy of what a, you're trying a, to do. It's a terrible analogy. You don't even know what I do for a living. That, that's first of all. Um, so when you're talking about whether we can have equitable outcomes, right? So you, first you talked about inputs, that if we give students the same set of, uh, of things, right? They get the same teachers. They get the same books. They get the same classrooms, right? You're no, saying that no, if they no, put in different amount of effort, outcomes. you're saying if they put in different amount of effort that there will be but different you outputs. Give them everything. That's what you said, right? If, if you equitable s- outcomes mean... No, it doesn't. Equitable outcomes, outcomes means that if we get the same form. things, that we can achieve the same ends. That means if we have the same no, textbooks, no, the same no, classrooms, and true. the same teachers, that's that we will true. all that's graduate all at the same time. So I have a great idea. What they should do is get rid of the thugs in the NFL who are kneeling and replace them with whites and Asians. Well, if they did that, they wouldn't and make any way, money. And that way you get equitable No, outcomes. if they did that, they wouldn't make any money, Jesse. Oh, you got an excuse for that one, huh? No, it's not an excuse. Train, there's a reason. There's a reason you that train, there's a reason that the leagues are built on the exploitation of black people, Jesse. You can train anyone. There's a reason that the majority, if not all, the owners in the exactly. NFL are white. Jesse. You don't have to be smart to run up and down the field for a football. Exactly. So they you actually train. do. No, you don't. You actually do. No. There's a reason that they have aptitude tests. Yes, Bob. And there's a not. reason that black. Let me make this point too. Real fast. You know when uh, when your professor Charles denigrated the fact that Obama became president by saying, "Oh, that's just one example of a man who's successful." No, what that is, that's an example of white people. He would have never got president if white people, the majority of them, did not vote for him. Which Oprah Winfrey and the other successful blacks would have never got to where they were if they didn't have the cooperation of white people. Which proves my them. point that and white people and white supremacy that. are running this country. So thank you for proving my point. I appreciate that. Amazing. If white people were racist, as you are saying that they are, why would they vote for the fallen Messiah twice? Because there are certain white people who are invested in elevating individual black people as to be some sort of misindication <laughs> that black people have the opportunity to be successful across the board. That's why. Jesse. So you see now, due to your hatred and other blacks' hatred of white folks, 
they can never prove that they're not racist because I'm not concerned with your them proving mind, they're not racist. It's Jesse. in your mind and not I think theirs. part of the problem. Wow, what a very interesting uh, debate. And you can see from the first caller, she actually exposed his intentions. You can see that he had a lot of hate for the white man. And what he doesn't understand is if you want to destroy whiteness, you can't destroy whiteness as a concept. If you're going to destroy whiteness, you have to destroy um, the white man himself. So you can't destroy whiteness. It's just like saying you want to destroy blackness. If you want to destroy blackness, you have to destroy the black race entirely. So you can see that they they come with all these buzz big buzz words but at the end of the day you see that what they have they're filled with so much hate and so much evil like jesse always says and it's impossible they can't they can't they can't extinguish an entire race and so and the second caller the man who called was talking about socialism and you see he exposed his his intel inter, in, intellect and his his uh political agenda you know, so you, you you can't. It's not possible. You, when you, you give people, with, say, uh, people, put two people, a group of people, give them the same conditions and let them compete. Let the black race compete with the white race. If you're better, you're better. Don't be looking for reparations or uh, looking for uh, affirmative action to level the playing ground. That, that that will never level the pay, playing ground. Where will it stop? Where will it end? When should you stop paying reparation? When should you stop um um giving affirmative action? You're only you're only dumbing down the black race. You're not you're not helping the black race by with this reparation and 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 um, um, affirmative action. You're not not at all. So you need we need to just stop being lazy. Just grow up, the black race. I mean, and 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 compete. So tell me your thoughts in your comments. Drop your thoughts, all your thoughts in the comments. And if you've not subscribed to the channel, please smash the subscribe button and um, like and share. I'll see you in the next one. God bless.